unit three uh, is when we deal with uh, audio description, when it is uh, related to the content subtitled or the content being in voiceover. At the moment, we, all we've dealt with was to do with uh, audio description when the content is in the same language, that being English or being uh, German, and then you'd create the audio description in German. But what happens when audio description, uh, it is done when the content it goes across the different countries in Europe? Well, uh, in Europe, we have three different modalities. We have dubbing, we have subtitling, and we have voiceover as a way of translating um, the dialogue of the audiovisual content. Uh, you can see in red the dubbing countries, uh, which are Spain, uh, France, Italy, and Germany. Then you have uh, the, the, the voiceover countries, which are usually uh, is Poland, is the eastern, the old eastern bloc um, countries. Uh, also in Russia, they do have voiceover as well. And then you have in yellow all the rest of the European countries, that you put Portugal, Greece, the Nordic countries, uh, the UK and Ireland and Iceland, and they use uh, subtitling. These are the modalities. These uh, translation modalities are also applicable to genres. For example, uh, documentaries. Documentaries are done uh, with voiceover. So again, when you do an audio description of a documentary, uh, you would be using document, uh, a description of a voiceover. So again, it is important to take this into consideration. And I have uh, created a small, move, a small clip of uh, Vicky Cristina Barcelona um, done with uh, voiceover in Polish with the audio description. Here it is. Maria Elena z papierosem w dłoni świdruje Krystyna wzrokiem. Ta uśmiecha się zakłopotana. Mężczyzna odwraca wzrok. Juan Antonio do Krystyny. Jeszcze kawy? Poproszę. Kawa się rozlewa. Przepraszam. Proszę cukier. Nie trzeba. Może pojedziemy na wieś. Jest piękna pogoda. Maria Elena nerwowo obgryza paznokcie, zerka na niebo. Niedługo zacznie padać. Po angielsku. W porządku. Nie mówisz po hiszpańsku? Nie. Uczyłam się chińskiego. Chińskiego? Po co? Ładnie brzmi. Powiedz coś po chińsku. Ja? Maria Elena potakuje ruchem głowy. To brzmi ładnie? Mam słabą wymowę. Dla mnie brzmi jak świder, wierca się w mózg. Po angielsku. Nie słyszałeś jak gadają w chińskich restauracjach? Przestań. Mów po angielsku. Przepraszam, źle spałam, jestem rozdrażniona. The question is, what are the three audiovisual translation services in Europe? Dubbing, sign language and subtitling, dubbing, subtitling and voiceover, or dubbing, subtitling and captioning? And the right answer is dubbing, subtitling and voiceover.